What's up, y'all? It's Corner Sports Net. How y'all doing today? This video, I'm coming at y'all a little different. I'm going to talk about America's first boxing champion. Now, I'm not talking in the modern sense. I'm not talking like modern boxing. I'm talking about late 1700s, early 1800s. The man name was Tom Molyneux. Now, he was born a slave in around 1784 in Virginia. In Virginia, born a slave. And during the day, he would work on the plantation. And at night and on weekends, he would have fights. He would fight other slaves. But he got so good at it that he bought his freedom. His master gave him $500 and his freedom. $500. It's a lot of money, y'all. It's a nice piece of money. Some people work a full week now and they don't make $500. We're talking about the year 1804, somewhere around there. Early, real early 1800s. And the reason why they gave him his freedom in $500 was because... The son of his plantation owner won $100,000 on him. And to be betting that kind of money in, eight, in the 1800s on a fight with two slaves was, was crazy. But that, that's the times that they was living in. So then he started training in New York City. That's where he settled Settled in New York City, stayed there for about five years. He got some professional or technical training. And then he headed to Europe somewhere around 1810. But then he was beating guys mercifully. He was knocking guys out in Europe. Then he then he challenged Tom Cribb. Now we gotta think about the times. We're talking about a man that got his freedom. As a um, slave fighter, fighting other slaves, got five hundred dollars, moved to New York, couldn't read or write. I don't think he could read or write, and became pr pretty much America's first boxing champion. Now he won't get credit or nothing like that, but he was America's America's champion at the time. I'm talking about eighteen oh nine, eighteen ten. Like I said, this is an amazing story, and it's factual. There's actual accounts. The, the picture alone was, there's pictures of him. And there was people writing about him in the 1800s. Then he was smart enough to realize he couldn't make no money in the United States fighting white men and fighting slaves. So he headed over to Europe, where he was just beating people up. He's winning fights. He's making money. He's no longer hungry. He got clothes. He got women. He got enough food to eat. But then he took on, well, then he challenged the English champion, Tom, Tom Cribb. Now, Cribb. First couple of times brushed him off. Didn't want to fight him. Officially, Cribb decided to fight him. Now, when they fought, it was over 5,000 people there. U.S. sports writers. And the crowd was pro-Cribb. Now, racial epithets was thrown, was thrown at Tom Molyneux. And that, that's to be expected. I mean, you have a freed slave, ex-slave fighting the Englishman who's the champ so yeah he was he was called a lot of names but during the fight Tom Molyneux did real good he did very good he, he actually knocked down he knocked down Tom Cribb and they said when they knocked down Tom Cribb that Tom Cribb's corner went in the ring to talk to the referee given Crib enough time to recover. 
It was like 30 seconds. The fight should have been awarded for Tom Molyneux, but it wasn't. Tom Molyneux should have won by a knockout. Now, this was around 27 when all this happened. The fight went on to the 44th round. Yeah, you heard what I said, the 44th round. Back in the day, they fought until somebody pretty much died or gave up in the ring. Man, these two fighters had crazy stamina. Crazy stamina and endurance. Come on, y'all. Watching a fight, 44th round. How long was that fight? Three hours? Four hours? And it was bare knuckle. They didn't have boxing gloves. It was a bare knuckle brawl. Now, in the 44th round, Tom Cribb, he he staggered Tom Molyneux and knocked him down. And he could no longer continue. So basically, even though the fight should have Fight should have been stopped in the round 27, and Tom Molyneux uh, should have been awarded the victory. But there was in Europe at the time, and Tom Cribb was the champion, so they was not going to let that happen. So Tom Molyneux, he, he lost the fight. But he wasn't satisfied with how the fight ended, so he asked for a rematch. Then they fought nine months later. And this time he didn't he had no work for Tom Cribb. He lost. He lost in a decisive fashion. Cribb outtrained him. He took the fight very seriously. They there's there's allegations Tom a mile ago, he didn't take it that serious the second time. That's why he got knocked out in the eleventh round. Or the second fight. Now, Tom Molyneux, he would continue fighting and beating people and making money and womanizing. He became a real heavy drinker, though. Some say he was an alcoholic. But he pretty much fought on to the couple months before he died. Now, the year he died was in, it was in 1818 in Ireland. Now, he was only 34 years old when he died, but he lived a hard life, a fast life. They also said he died with no money. That's kind of understandable. Like, it's uh, 1818. You're a black man. All over the world, you was persecuted. So, yeah, he died with no money. But the fact that he became the first champion in American boxing was a great accomplishment. And then in 1997, centuries later, he was recognized by the International Boxing Hall of Fame. And they realized he was a, a great fighter. And that's the story of an ex-slave by the name of Tom Molyneux, who became a boxing champion in the United States. The first one. Also, his cousin is LL Cool J. I'm going to talk to these guys later. It's Corner Sports Net.